Hello and welcome back. Again, a little short one with sadly another digital SWR meter that is not working properly. I was very enthusiastic about it and it was the CQV SWR 508. And if you look at it mechanically, it looked very, very well built. I liked that it had bars and everything. A few viewers mentioned it creates distortion on certain frequencies and I didn't notice that. I checked it on the on the dummy load and of course I play a little bit on my long wire to see if the SWR matched with my uh, die needle and it worked all fine but I didn't have the, the audio one. And this is the SWR meter we are talking about. Look at that, it looks amazing. The build really looked good but you can see already here in the spectrum, look at this. You can see here, and it goes on and off and on and off. And when I switch it off, gone. And this is not the only frequency where that happens. Around here we have the same, 765, it's all quiet, I switch it on. This is less serious as the other frequency. But you can for sure see, and then I switch it off again, and it clears up. But also on the lower frequencies, switching it on, here it goes, look at that. Ah, it's a pity, the device looked so nice. On the screen we can see it a lot better, I changed my span to only 10k. And look at this when we switch it on. It is a lot of noise. And it is a real pity because it really looked properly built. First time I saw a proper digital meter. Yeah, if you're not working on those frequencies and maybe if you have one and you have distortion, maybe it's not on the same frequencies or you don't work on this frequency. If you ne uh, have not noticed yet, maybe you want to check it out. Yeah, again, it's a pity. It looked so nice. So thanks to my viewers. I was notified to the problem because I didn't notice it myself. I didn't actually use it. I only tested it and it seemed all fine. If you have this device, maybe it's worth to have a look at it. If you also, maybe it's on different frequency or it's on frequencies you, you don't use. Um, but if it is in frequencies you use, then maybe it's good to see if you are still in your refund period. Uh, I'm going to send it back because I don't like this at all. Okay, I think I learned my lesson by now. I tried twice. Very fancy looking digital SWR power meter. One was not working at all. That was the one with the digital needles. And one, this looks actually very promising and it turned out to have a hidden problem. I missed that completely. And uh, I learned my lesson. I will be using my Daiwa meter and the needles just respond very fast. I like it a lot. Maybe I'm too bit too old school, but also with my experience now with these two devices, I think I will stick to my needles. Thanks to my viewers who notified me on this problem. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.